So picture this, Marty Friedman, guitar shredder extraordinaire. Here's Daniel X say making music costs close to zero. Maybe in a world where guitars grow on trees and studios are built by Oompa Loompa's Danny Boy. Marty's out here like, hey, newsflash, eck, my guitar didn't sprout out of the ground and this studio wasn't donated by a unicorn. The man has spent thousands on gear, but sure, let's call it zero. Now, Marty's practice routine involves decades of finger blistering work, but uh, thanks to Eck, it's all apparently free because everyone knows time and effort are so overrated, aim right? Eck's logic is so sound. Just grab a guitar off the enchanted shelf, record some magic tunes on your wizard microphone, and voila, zero costs. Someone's been watching too many Disney movies. Marty also throws in a little fact check. Streaming is killing smaller artists faster than Thanos snapped out half the universe. Eck thinks artists are just swimming in cash, though. Maybe in Monopoly money. Cue Marty's call for fairer payments. He's like the Robin Hood of rock, trying to save the poor, struggling minstrel from the evil sheriff of Spotify. All he asks for is recognition of real-world expenses. Wild concept, huh? So what do you think, folks? Should artists be paid in real money? or just X fantasy coins? Join the debate and let's see if we can bring some reality back to the magical kingdom of Spotify. Like and subscribe, please.